Welcome back everyone. In this video, you're going to learn about the different types of wood found in plants. But before we start this video, it is important that you have a better understanding of the topic secondary growth in plants. I have made two videos explaining secondary growth in stem and roots. So I will recommend you to watch it first before you continue. Also, if you are not subscribed, now is the good time to do it as it helps the YouTube algorithm to recognize that you appreciate the content of this channel. So now let's get into the video. Before I start discussing the different types of wood, let me explain you what is vascular cambium and why it is important for this topic. The vascular cambium is a type of meristem and to be precise, it is a lateral meristem on the basis of its position. Being a meristem, it is made up of actively dividing cells and is responsible for formation of other type of tissues like secondary xylem and secondary phloem. In fact, all the tissues formed by the vascular cambium on the inner side is collectively referred as wood. That is, the vascular cambium forms all the different types of wood that we are going to cover in this video. On the inner side of vascular cambium, you must be able to see the presence of alternating light and dark rings. These rings represent the first category of wood that we are going to see. That is the spring wood and the autumn wood. The spring wood, as clear from its name, is formed during the spring season or early in the season. So it is also called early wood. It is lighter in color and thus represented by the light brown rings in the diagram. It is also noticeable that the thickness of spring wood is more. This is because during the spring season, the vascular cambium has higher activity and thus forms more amount of wood. It also results in formation of vessels having wider lumen. The lumen represents the empty spaces inside the dead cells. These wider lumens are responsible for the low density of the spring wood. The autumn wood is formed late in the year during the autumn season and so it is also called late wood. The color of autumn wood is relatively dark and is represented by dark brown rings in the diagram. The lower thickness of autumn wood is due to the fact that the activity of vascular cambium is less during the autumn season. The vessels of autumn wood have narrow lumen, which increases the density of autumn wood. Each year, a ring of spring wood and a ring of autumn wood is formed and together they form one annual ring. By counting the number of annual rings, we can estimate the age of the tree. However, these rings are distinctly visible in trees growing in temperate regions that is, the regions where seasonal differences are more prominent. In tropical regions, these rings are not very distinct due to the almost constant weather throughout the year. Also, these rings are not found in the wood of roots. So that is all for this video. In the second part of this video, you will learn the differences between hardwood and sapwood.